Ron back with another product review here, uh, a photography related, related uh, gear item. And also, you could say it was drone related gear item also because it's winter time now um, and it's getting very cold outside and, you know, it's hard to use your hands in extremely cold weather, below freezing, near freezing with high wind chills. So you need a pair of uh, good gloves. But you need a pair of gloves that also let you operate your uh, equipment. We have many buttons and levers and a lot of touch screens now. So um, for Christmas, I uh, received the um, a pair of these photography gloves. They're by our, our friends over at PGY Tech who make a lot of, um, you know, photo, uh, you know, drone related gear. These are uh, photography gloves, but on the back, uh, they clearly show that somebody used them with a drone. Um, you know, a Phantom style, uh, uh, Phantom 4 style controller and uh, has an iPad, uh, probably the, uh, uh, you know, the Apple iPad Mini 5 there and they're showing them using a DSL style camera, you know, it shows their versatility, you know, not just for time for this, for other uses also. And um, I want to, you know, show you the gloves here. This is the set of this, the PGY Photography Gloves. Um, both sides here and uh, you know they have many features to them um, one of them is um, they have the the 3F thin slate here so they keep you extremely uh, hands extremely warm in uh, you know below uh, freezing temperatures and I had I tried them out this weekend um, I went to Ken Harrod's uh, photography meetup with the boardwalk on Ocean oh, City Jersey on Saturday very cold day I wore the gloves for the first time that day and it kept my hands very warm. At some points, I had to take the gloves off because my hand, it kept my hands so warm that day. Um, so, you know, that definitely uh, is a plus here, you know, in the cold weather. And they also have um, Hypora, as I, as if that's, but I never heard it pronounced before. And uh, what this is, material allows them to be uh, breathable as well as waterproof. Now, I did not get a chance to test the, uh, the waterproof factor on uh, Saturday because of what you know, it did rain, it was no snow around, it was nothing like that. But uh, it does have the waterproof built in, and they were very breathable. You know, they, they again they had three of them, so they kept their hands warm, but you know, not too warm to the fact that my hands are sweating inside. Um, you know, so they were nice and breathable. So that's some of the, the real good things about it. And I'll show you, you know, what uh, I thought was the, you know, the um. Uh, the kind of home run feature of it. Um, now, on the on the three main fingers, the thumb, the uh, uh, big finger, and the index finger, uh, what they do is let me sh try to show you as best I can in the camera here. You can uh, it has two little snaps here, this snap and this snap, and you can you know s snap them together there, and then you know you your finger will will. You know, come out of there so you can use the tip of your finger on your gear and your touch screen. So let me demonstrate here. Uh, and also, uh, while I'm demonstrating here, I'm going to put the glove on. It also has a Velcro thing to, you know, loosen and tighten it so that makes it easy to get them on. And of course, you know, get them off at the same time. I feel like almost OJ here putting this glove on here. Um, so, you know, you put the Velcro back on tight. And they have the little clips here so you can keep the, both the gloves clip together so you don't lose them when you have them in like coat pockets, you know, jacket pockets and things like that. Okay, so as I was showing you, um, we'll, we'll use the big finger here. So, you, you know, you, you, you know, you reveal your finger like that, push it back and you, you know, put it, the snaps. And the, the snaps are um, kind of hard to work with here, maybe because they're new, but uh, I tried to do them before I, um, you know, put my uh, hands through here. So, um, See if I can get that here. I still can't get it. Like I said the snaps are a little hard to manage when you have them on your hand, when they're, when they're off your hand. Okay, so I've got snap. You probably heard that pop. So you can see that I have use of the, you know, the index finger uh, on touch, touch screens, levers, any, anything, you know, like uh, that related, you know, uh, to your gear here. And, uh, you know, they, they, they have good grippiness, you know, in here. Um, you can see that here so you know they, they're good to grip on and hold uh things in the cold weather things that may be slippery like metal and glass and so on so again you can do the same thing on the thumb here um you know, pull that back and it's got the little 
snap here. I don't want to take forever showing you because that one went good. So I had the snap and a forefinger out here. So I mean, you know, so far these are a real winner. I mean, um, the 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 fit finish, you know, the the features that I just went over, uh, the uh, usability of the fingers. But here is the downside here. On my very first use of them on Saturday, um, the as you can see here, the um, you know the Vindex finger also snaps back. But the uh, the other piece of the snap here, you can see the the threads here. It fell off on on the first day of usage, and I, I don't even have it. You know, it's completely lost. It must have fell off in the ground someplace when I was either snap, you know snapping and closed or unsnapping it. Um, and so you can see the the threads sticking up there. Uh, so that that's a big con here. It uh, the snaps. I wanted to snatch off on the very first day of use of it, and uh, you know, I, I, you know, I don't know if you would call it user error on my part. I mean, you just, you know, you snap them on, you snap them off. I mean, uh, it, it's a simple process. I mean, if it's gonna, if me just pull it off too hard, if that's gonna happen on the first day, I mean, how how would I expect it to hold up? Now, maybe this is just a a one off here. It was just a. Uh, uh, you know, pet, uh, you know, one here that was badly sewn on, um, and you know, just maybe a quality defect, and another pair won't have this issue. I, I, I can't say, but what I'm going to, these were purchased from Amazon.com, so we will go through the return process and request another pair to come through. And when I get that pair, and, and I give them, you know, I, I have a chance to put those through their paces or whatever, I will see if another snap falls off, and I report back to you again uh, in a follow-up review to this to see if, um, you know, it was just a one pair that I had that had a defect, or it's a, a common issue with these gloves. Uh, and as far as, you know, uh, the, the snap breaking off, uh, you know, they were, um, they did have a quality control sticker on them at the bottom here. And it was uh, the quality control. They were, uh, it passed quality control on uh, October 31st, 2018. So these are not a new item. Maybe it sat in the warehouse too long and maybe the strings, uh, the thread that held the snap on, maybe they Aged or got rotten in the meantime, I, I don't know, but you know, that's a long time ago that they passed the quality test, uh, so I don't have anything to do with my issue or not, but uh, anyhow, so um, that's it for this portion. Um, so that's it for my uh, you know, review so far. I don't want to go on and on, as far as you know, I really enjoyed the gloves, uh, the features, you know, uh, like the, the, the 3M warmth, the waterproof, the breathability, the way they fit, you know, the uh. The way they stick on here, uh, the Velcro, I mean, it's a lot of things. I really like the snapback fingers, but, uh, you know, uh, you know that's the, but the big con was that the snap fell off on the, the very first usage. usage. So um, I, I'll put a link below to where you can purchase these gloves. I, I don't know how much they are off the top of my head, so I don't want to misquote a price here, but I will put the pricing and the... Um, you know, where you can purchase these, a, a, a link or whatever, and that's up to you whether you want to use the link, you know, uh, or wait for me to come back with a with my uh, second pair here um, and see if the snaps hold up better on them. So, um, and there are alternatives out there. I think uh, our, our good friend Marcus Crawford over at Ohio, Idaho Quadcopter, he got another brand name pair of uh I'll say photography gloves, in his case, probably drone gloves or anything. Uh, and they use a magnetic system to snap the fingers back rather than the snaps. So maybe that's a that's a better idea. I don't I don't know. So we'll have to follow up with him sometime how his gloves are uh, working out uh, for him. So I'm going to keep this short and sweet for now. Uh, and I will be back again when I get the second pair in. I'm able to put that second pair, uh, you know, through their paces, uh, you know, uh, and see if the snaps hold up better on that pair. So um, you know that's it, and uh, you know I will see you on the next uh, on the next video.